Oh. You. You spell doom. What? No. It's... Just as I thought. It doesn't what? sound like me. Where am I? The execution. Well, maybe it does. The seer. <laughs> Silence. No bad omens. And to think I put in a good word to the king for you. What happened? I know what will happen. You'll catch those crows by the hour of six this evening, or you'll be put in the pillory. Oh, the crows. Look at my right. progress. I've caught two already. What are you getting pissy about? Wasting away, bird catcher. It will run out at the hour of six this evening. This oh. dream, it's... Uh, <laughs> pull yourself together, Geron, and start to deal with those crows already. The king trusts me. I can't let him down. Perhaps Grinling found something that can help me while he was dissecting the bird. Hmm. Oh, so... Well, I, ca I caught those two, though. I just had one left. Go see Grinling, then. Geron. You turned up at the right time. He sure seems to have gone through a mood change. That can't be good. You'll have to catch a fairy for me, as quickly as possible. Oh. A fairy? What's gotten into you? <laughs> we don't have much time. Help me. Uh, why a fairy? What do you need a fairy for? Oh, Does she no, he wants to it drive for away the, the crows for you? I may be wrong. Potion. But perhaps the seer is back. A game with this horror story. You're not making any sense. You'd better help me expel the crows from the royal guest chambers. Later. For now, just do what I tell you. Uh, I mean, if he's back, he must be pretty... singed. How could the seer possibly be back? He's dead, isn't he? We all watched him die, but now not only the crows have returned. But the magpies too. Murders, Geron. Where none should occur. First Knight Olderich, now Magister Dorata. They were the ones who put the seer at the stake. Mm. Who knows what else will happen? What's a fairy got to do with the seer? Not a fairy. The fairy. You have to catch her before someone else does. What does the seer want with the fairy? Only she can unleash the power of the magic harp. No man... Not even the seer can play it without dying by the gods. If he's back, everything will start all over. You aren't making any sense to me, old man. You're not making much sense to me either. <laughs> but what is this harp? What powers does the harp hold? Nobody knows. But it is said that when the harp sounds, Andergast will perish. That's why you have to catch the fairy. She is the key. Uh -huh. Okay. Tell me more about that magic harp. I don't know. It is said to be from the realm of the fairies. Hmm. What did the seer want with the harp? He longed for her because she was the gateway to his power. Or oh, that's what he thought anyway. Destroying. Destroying? Oh, is that the harp? Okay. Is this the one in the drawing? This is what she might look like. Who can be sure? How do you know so much about the seer? It was I who led all those heroes to him. To his hideout in the Stone Oak Forest. You were part of the hero's quest? Hunters and scouts. We caught him. And then we burnt him. And now a knight and a magician are dead. Just trust me. And all will be fine. Mm. Why haven't you told me all this before? Now is not the time. Well, obviously, it never was the time. <laughs> uh, Remedy. How did you catch that crow over there? A certain attractant, but it needs water that's been touched by fairy magic. So I would have to go where the fairy lives anyway. That's right. Hmm. <laughs> if I catch the fairy, will you help me with the king's crows? Promise, but would you please hurry now? You don't have to tell me that. Okay. What? Well, how am I going to catch this All fairy? Right. How do I catch a fairy? 
The fairy lives in a hidden place in the stone oak forest, near an old but sealed fairy portal. Look about two midden miles north of the old finger where the oneberries grow. If you hear the great waterfall, you're in the right place. Oh, I'll find that place all right. Try to lure the fairy out of her hollow by playing your flute. She's nosy, but also very shy. And then I'll catch her with a cage. Fairies can be deceiving. Don't let her put a spell on you. Not to worry. If she's got wings, I'll catch her. Hmm. And with this fairy water, I'll be able to catch my crows? Yes. All the other ingredients are easy to find. Splendid. The king will be amazed. I'm on my way now. You mustn't fail. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, that's what this is about, I think. Oh, he's fixed the cage. Can we take it now? Is the cage fixed yet? Yes. And take better care of it next time. Right. So I think we can leave the town now. Those two have gone. Very well then. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, I'm so sorry. What? Nothing. You're doing all right. Just keep practicing. I'm not even here. You're all alone <laughs> in the woods and nobody's here to judge you. Not even me. See how I'm born? That must be her. Stop. Wait. All right. Lure some more. <laughs> yeah, because that's not creepy at all. <laughs> Come on out, will you? Who? Why, you, of course. Who, me? Have you forgotten you're all alone? <sighs> I'm not alone. You are here. And who else? Nobody. Aha. Uh -huh. If you were a friend of the forest, they'd all be here. The moss hogs and the hazel ferrets. The pebble crane would even rain on you from the skies to honour you. And the wood foxes would build a magnificent bonfire and everyone would dance. What? But as you are not a friend of the forest, everyone just stayed at home. What? So I've got to get the others to come out before she will. If I were a friend of the forest, would you come out then? Yes, in that case we'd have something to talk about. We'd have to stand in awkward silence otherwise. And in order to be a friend of the forest, I'd have to... Have friends, that's right. Resin rats, for example. Or paper finches. And where would I find those? If you don't have any friends, you have to make them up. What on earth has Gwynling foisted upon me? Hmm. So I'm supposed to just uh, make up a friend? A forest friend, that's right. He'd have to be made from the forest. Friends of forest friends are my friends too. Oh. I'll be back in a minute. Uh, okay. So I've got to find all these little forest critters. What's this? Guess I'll have to dig in the foliage then. Ow! No fairy, just a hedgehog. Ah, oh, do we need... To, how do we get him to come out? Hmm... Oh, this is all my stuff. That's all I've got left. Okay. Uh, the, this. <laughs> Would you like some of that? The wrong bait, obviously. Oh, okay. Snail. Oh, he might like a snail. Try that. Or maybe we're supposed to put it here. A snail should be the right treat for you. He seems to like it, but he's too scared. Put it in there. Okay. Well, now what? To put it here. I don't very think she's well. going to like Perhaps us Gwindling will settle for putting a it in the cage. In case I can't catch the fairy. Uh, 
Will she come out now? <laughs> Hello? Look at my hedgehog. He's my friend. But you had to imprison him so that he stays with you. That's no way to treat a friend. Yeah, I didn't think she'd like that. I'll be back in a minute. Mm. Oh. Serves you right, spiky guy. You shouldn't always sting our guests. No wonder no one ever comes to visit us. <laughs> what? Oh. Hmm. What do I do with those? Hmm. Let's see what else is here. Well, can I take some leaves? Nothing. No. Matt's just going to talk to her. No. Oh, I can go down there. No, please stay. I seldom have visitors. All right. What? You won't even come out of your frickin' tree. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. Do you play the flute to the hedgehog? <laughs> you scare him. What? I don't know how... Like, what we're doing here. Do we break the cage again? <laughs> My talent only affects inanimate objects. Oh. Hmm. She won't let us leave. Oh. That's just to go back to the town, isn't it? Okay. I thought that was the way. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Hammer. I'd rather not. No. <laughs> Just break the tree. Do you command magic? Uh, no. Neither do I. Not much anyway. Hmm. What do we do with things then? Why on earth should I do that? I don't know. I just, I just thought I'd give it a go. <laughs> Nonsense. I'm sure they'll grow back. Oh, bitch, come out of that tree. <laughs> Hello? So I'm supposed to just uh, make up a friend? A forest friend, that's right. He'd have to be made from the forest. Friends of forest friends are my friends too. Oh, so I'll be back in a minute. What? I have to make a friend. How? This is all I've got to work with. She won't let me leave. No, please stay. I seldom have visited. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So you're going to have to look at the guide. Oh, so you said, oh, what is this? Help yourself. I have plenty of those. Chestnut twig. Oh, chestnuts. Does he like chestnuts? He won't eat those. No. So again, I'm stuck because fuck <laughs> knows what to do with this. Oh. You're not. the fairy out of a hollow playing the flute. Great idea, Gwynling. All right. Oh. This one goes here. That one there. This one over there. Okay. Chestnut mannequin. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, do I put, bring this over here? Hello? Well, now, a chestnut king. A king? Really? Yeah, he rules the realm of the chestnuts and, uh, <laughs> and he's my friend. I'm deeply honoured, your tiny majesty. Here on here is my dearest friend of the forest, my lady fairy. <laughs> Both of you may enter. Oh. Finally. I didn't even have to look at the guide, because I just fumbled around and eventually found the solution. <laughs> 
What a strange mm. place. Dolls made of bulbs with hats made of leaves. Hmm. But where is the... Hello. I am Nuri Dari Nelavanda, and this is Miss oh, Bloombell, that's a mouthful. Sinkle and Hinkle, the Turnip Ghosts, and Plapperup. To make it simple, you can call me Nuri. Yes, thank you. Why are you looking at me <laughs> like that? Are you in love? Oh, that's, well, that's a bit unfortunate. Same as a fairy. It? All this nonsense, completely in vain. Of course, I am a fairy. What else could I be? You're a human, just like I am. You're much too tall for a blossom fairy and a man-sized fairy. We'll turn you into a radish at once if you don't keep quiet. Oh no, the dolls, they, no, please, oh. please don't do it. I'm just a simple bird catcher. How was I supposed to know? I'm just fooling around. <laughs> I can't turn anyone into a radish. In fact, I can't turn anyone into anything anymore. But you are a fairy? Yes, why? Uh, because I need you to come with me. Would you like to come with me? Why? Do you want to show me your world, which must be full of humans? Uh, yes. With roofs made from wooden shingles? Exactly. I can show you those. Oh, that's marvellous. But, no, I can't leave here. I must stay near the fairy gate. The fairy gate? Is this the fairy gate? Does it lead to your world? Not anymore. It's been sealed. Hmm. Did you come from the fairy land? Yes. And hopefully I'll never go back there. Why can't you just come with me? If I leave here, I get sick. The only thing that keeps me alive in this world is the magic of the fairy gate. How's that? It is my well. Without its water, my soul dries up. Like a plant. Hmm. Can't you just bring some? Couldn't you just take a part of the magic with you? How could I do that? Hmm. You no, know, put Let some in a jug it. or something. Why don't you want to go back to your home? That's just the way it is. Well, all right. To each their own secrets. I'll be back in a minute. Hmm. So we need to get some of this water, I think. If there is one thing I love about Daedalic game, De, Daedalic? Yes. Daedalic games, it's the artwork. It is just so amazing. I wish I could make pictures like this. <laughs> it's just so detailed. Hmm. Okay. So what have we got? Nothing that can hold water what's in here main drakes she cut their roots and dressed them in clothes made of leaves what in the name of the unknown does the seer want with this fairy <laughs> who knows oh what's this they're probably for a new set of wind chimes well i guess she has to occupy herself with something to kill time hmm. can i borrow one of these ribbons not those. I wanted to use them to... No. I can't remember what I wanted with them. <laughs> I'll give them to you as a present. <laughs> okay. So what? Well, I've got leather ribbons. I still can't hold water with that. <laughs> Let's go up to it. I'm not going to climb up there. Yeah. All kinds of things could happen if I touch this gate. Hmm. Just need something that can hold the water. Can I leave and go get something? Will she let me do that? Try. Oh, I can. Okay. Well. No, please oh. stay. <laughs> we seldom have visitors. All right. Uh, what do you want me to do? There's nothing in here. Mm. Oh, maybe I can 
but what? What can I break? The main drakes? It doesn't break. No. Mm. Combine something. What though? This? No, what use is that supposed to be? This. Maybe. No. <laughs> hmm. This? Of course not. <sighs> There's top to Have again. you seen my waterfall yet? It keeps flowing downwards, even at night. What? Yeah, I mean, that's too expected. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> oh. Oh. What? What the hell? No. I, I don't know what to do here. Maybe we go... Oh! Get out of there! <laughs> okay. Oh, we've got a... So we've got this... Oh, we can put water in that, can't we? Okay. Maybe we can bind. Let's these. see where this leads me. Okay. Just put that there. But you've got to seal it somehow. The shell would make a good vessel. If the water in this well is magical, Nuri can carry it in the shell. But I can't reach it without touching the magic gate. So touch it. What? Uh, this? Well, the prawn shellers of Nostria would laugh at me, but that's still a fishing rod. Oh, okay. What are you doing there? Very well. But how do I seal the snail shell now? Hmm. Oh, well, I got an achievement. <laughs> okay. So I've got to seal that. To plug it with this. Interesting. The acorn fits on the end of the snail shell like a cork. Now finally I'll attach the leather ribbon so that the fairy won't spill anything. Okay. So we give that to her. She'll come with us. Hopefully. 